what's going on guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i have some jailbreak news for you guys in regards to a new watch os jailbreak as well as some other upcoming news in regards to jailbreak tools so with that being said let's get straight into this video All right, so first off guys, I wanna go ahead and let you guys know that Electra, one of the first iOS 11 toolkits was released by Timstar and he is actually in beta eight, which fixes a new Safari and Chrome bug in regards to the toolkit. Now, if you guys are a developer using this particular toolkit in order for you guys to test out your guys' tweaks on iOS 11, then this particular toolkit was just updated for you guys to beta eight. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, I'll go ahead and leave the link inside of the description so you guys can go ahead and download it if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Now, the next thing I do wanna talk about is the fact of a downgrade. So if you guys do not know, in my past videos, I've been talking about SEP a lot in terms of downgrading your guys' iDevice with SHSH blobs. Now, if you guys are successful in downgrading SHSH blobs, I do not particularly have a spare device for me to use SHSH blobs on in order to actually try to downgrade. But in terms of what I know and my knowledge is the fact that SEP is a special key that is used in a newer signed iOS version. And if they are available and working for the latest version of iOS to the jailbreakable version of iOS with SHSH blobs, then you guys will be able to restore and downgrade with working versions of Touch ID as well. So news today comes out that iOS 11.2.5 final with SEP is now compatible with iOS 11.1.2. So if you guys are anyone that are watching this video that has been successful in downgrading in the past with SHSH blobs, then you guys can go ahead and use the SEP inside of iOS 11.2.5 in order for you guys to downgrade back to iOS 11.1.2. Now, like I said, I did not have any iDevices in order for me to show you guys how to in fact downgrade. But if I do get one in the future, I will go ahead and try to make one and hopefully I am successful in my first attempt as well. So the last thing I do want to talk about today is the fact that there is a new watch OS 3 jailbreak for Apple Watch. Now, what does this tell us? Now, basically, if we have a jailbreak for an Apple Watch, we can see some third party applications onto our iDevice, as well as maybe some type of new watch faces for our Apple Watch, maybe custom or maybe even a little Cydia for our Apple Watch. Now, I'm not too sure what exactly this is going to be overcoming, but the fact that we do have a watch OS 3 jailbreak on the way is absolutely amazing to see that we are getting a jailbreak for an Apple Watch. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the GitHub, I'll go ahead and link it inside of the description as well. I'm not too sure what exactly the jailbreak does, but I do know that we do have a jailbreak in order for us to jailbreak an Apple Watch. Now, you guys may be asking, how can I downgrade back my watch OS to watch OS 3? Now, just like on iPhones as well as any other iDevice, there is a signing window, but I believe for the watch series zero or the first ever edition Apple Watch, there is no signing window whatsoever, but there is a tool called the iBus in order for you guys to use the developer ports on the Apple Watch inside of the little strap inside of the watch itself in order for you guys to downgrade. Now, that particular tool tool is about $100. You guys can go ahead and just Google that online. I'm not going to go ahead and link that for you guys. But anyways, it is pretty amazing to see that we do have a watch OS 3 jailbreak. And that's pretty much it for you guys. I just wanted to update you guys on those three news that I wanted to share with you guys in terms of new jailbreak material. So with that being said, guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future, as well as a lot more videos in regards to iOS 11 and future iOS 12. Don't forget to also snapshot this outro or scan this code to add me on Snapchat as well and don't forget to follow me on my twitter page and my facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world and don't forget to also turn on the notification bells for both twitter as well as youtube because i am very frequently on both of those as well so with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video this is elite apple hacks signing out